Hey, how's it going everyone? One Dr. Genius here, and in this video, I'm telling you guys everything about Prodigy Membership. So what does this mean? I'm basically telling you guys about all of the in-game benefits which occur with Prodigy Membership. So before we start of this video, I'd like to say that getting membership in-game does not do anything to the educational content. Right, it does not affect educational content, you're, you're given all of the educational content for free, membership just allows you to get accessories in-game. Alright guys, so the first thing which you guys may or may not have noticed is that pets, right? Over here you guys can see this account has membership, and in this member account I have approximately a hundred-ish pets in Prodigy, right? Now for non-members, I do believe that non-members can only get anywhere from 10 to 5 pets in Prodigy, although I do believe that the limit is 10. Right, so non-members, you guys can only catch 10 pets in Prodigy, but a member on the other hand, a member can get all 153 pets available in the game. Members can get every single pet in the game, of course, now there are some rules to this, like you can't get the old starter pets, but other than that, members are able to catch every single pet in the game. Now another thing is that you guys will be able to catch some exclusive member-only pets, like right over here, the Misty. Now the only way to get the Misty is through membership and reward gold. So this would be another type of pet which you guys are able to get with membership. Right, so that's the first thing, that's the pet information, right? We're not done with the pet part yet. Now do you guys see over here in my pet book how I have the evolution of the Sprout to Buckbeak? Well here's what happens, for non-members in Prodigy you guys aren't able to evolve your pets. Prodigy asks you to get membership in order to evolve your pets, so if you guys don't have membership you really can't evolve your pets at all. But if you guys get membership in Pad in Pride in Prodigy, then you guys are able to level up and evolve your pets into stronger and better versions of themselves. An example of a pet where leveling it up and evolving it is crucial is probably the Ember Shed. Yeah, that their power to health ratio actually increases a little bit when they finally reach the third place. And how do they have three Ember Sheds rescued? What? Right, so that's the thing which happens. Members are allowed to level up and evolve their pets in Prodigy. So, now another thing which I gotta say is very obvious in the game is that members level up faster. Alright guys, members get member stars. Member stars are basically stars reserved for members in Prodigy. You can get anywhere from 5 to 15 additional member stars. Now normally this makes a huge impact in Prodigy if you guys are starting from the beginning. Now of course you guys do have to consider whether or not you want membership based on how long you're going to be playing it, but I'll talk more about that later on in the video. So basically, members earn this thing called member star. After every battle, you guys get anywhere from 5 to 15 additional stars. Now these stars may not look like much, but over time they add up to a lot, right? Just 5 additional member stars can actually level you up another level when your pet or wizard is a very low level. Right, so we got that first thing out of the way, now let's go into our inventory. Now in our inventory, you guys can see I have a couple of hundred caps over here, a hundred robes, a couple of wands, boots, buddies, items, currency, and clouds. Right, so you guys might be wondering what's so special about this. Well, if you guys have ever gone to any of the shops in Prodigy, you guys will know that there are a lot of member items in the shops, right? Member items are items which only members can buy in Prodigy. Now, you guys might be wondering why am I bringing this up? Members are not only able to buy member items in Prodigy, but they're also able to equip it, right? Non-members can't even buy the items to fill out their shop. That means they'll have to luckily get it through drops in battle. And to add, on top of that, even if they get it from the drops in battle, I do believe they're not able to take off, they're not able to put on their member items. So that's the thing, you guys are actually able to equip your member items and buy them from the shop, which basically allows you to get everything over here. And well, you guys know complete a selection. Now, so basic, so in this thing, you guys know you can only get like the member outfits, member hats, outfits, boots, wands, buddies, furniture, and items. Membership chest, what happens is that you guys are given extra gold and higher rewards from it, right? Now additional gold, what I mean by additional gold is you can get anywhere from 50 to 300, 400 additional gold. So you can get anywhere from 100 to 500 gold per battle. So of course this only happens from the membership box, from the membership chest, but it's still actually a pretty decent reward. Now another thing which I gotta say is access to the entirety of the Dark Tower. So if you're not a member, you guys are only able to play the Dark Tower for 5 towers, that's all, for 5 floors. But if you're not a non member, you guys are able to unlock the full 100 floors and play all the way throughout it. Now of course this does present a higher advantage for them because they have another way to get it. This provides an advantage because you guys have another way to get 8 health to get 8 hard gear, so that's pretty nice. Also guys, another thing which I gotta say is, well, first of all, we have to deal with the Titan. 
Now, you guys might be wondering, what's about the Titan which only members can do? Well, if you guys look over here, you guys can see there's a catapult with a member sign on it. If you guys are a member and you click on the catapult, what will happen is that you guys will answer a question and you guys will get two, you guys will get two Titan shards per battle. Now, two Titan shards, that's actually not too bad at all and it's 50% faster than what other people get. So you're basically getting an it's like a hundred percent more than what other people are getting. So you're getting two hundred percent of what non-members are getting from just clicking on the Titan. So this allows you to get a guaranteed of two Titan shards per battle. Yeah, so there seems to be no member items in the Titan shops, which is good if you guys ask me. But you guys can tell that members are able to get Titan shards here much faster. A further thing is being able to buy all of the items from the shop. So if you go to some of the shops over here, you guys will see that boom, they're member items. The entire shops are always filled with different types of member items which you guys can buy. And if you guys don't have membership, you guys aren't going to be able to complete these sets of items and completely dress up your wizard. So you guys can tell that that's another thing you guys are able to unlock everything and you guys are actually able to buy pets, right? So suppose your wizard has actually gotten 10 pets already and you try buying a pet over here, well it will not allow you to buy the pet because you already have 10 so you guys will have to let go of a pet in order to buy them. That's another problem which you guys face. The arena rewards. Right guys, in the arena you guys can see that half of the chests over here are for members only. Right now because half of the chests over here are for members only, what you guys will see is that non-members can't really get half of the stuff which is available over here. And because, and because some of the best rewards are actually kept in member boxes, what happens is that non-members, well, yeah, you guys can't get yourself the cloud mounts. And another thing which I forgot to mention is the mounts. Now, the mounts are only available to members. Once you get membership, you guys are permanently allowed to use mounts. Now, if you guys get rainbow mounts and all of the other stuff, it will also add over there and you guys are able to use that. A further thing which I forgot to mention is the bounty board, right? So on the bounty board, your bounty board may look different. You have may you may be having one one and accept, or one one and five. So anything above one bounty, you guys aren't non-members are not able to do anything above one bounty. Now you guys might be wondering how is this helpful? Well, the faster you get hundred bounties, the faster you guys have access to eight heart armor. So basically, this allows you guys to do bounties a lot faster in Prodigy and it allows you guys to catch different types of pets much faster. So if you guys ask me, over here you guys can also get a benefit in the membership on the board from Bounty Battles. Now a further thing which I have to say is that it will allow you to complete areas like Dynadig Oasis' museum much faster than normal. Oh yeah, another thing which I forgot to mention is that you guys can actually choose custom selected names for your wizards and characters, which means that you guys can name your characters what you want. And on top of that, you guys can also select yourself member-only hairstyles and colors which are available in the shop. Right, so I'm, I clearly clicked on the wrong shop over there, but if you go to your change appearance, you guys can see that there are certain hairstyles which require membership. There are certain hair colors, which, wait, no hair colors, okay. So you guys can tell that there are certain hair colors which require membership. So really, majority of the thing is that it really doesn't affect you too much in-game except for the evolution and the member stars part. And another thing which I forgot to mention are these wheels over here, right? So the wheel of the sun, the twilight wheel, and the lamplight town wheel. When you spin these wheels, you guys are given a second chance to spin them, but you can only spin them for a second time if you guys have membership. So it allows you to spin the wheels twice, and it basically gives you guys another chance at getting yourselves part of some of the items over here, right? So it gives me another chance of being able to get myself 25 sand dollars or something which you really want. And under certain circumstances, you guys may even have like cool items which you guys want to get. So it basically gives you guys a second chance of getting the stuff. You still have the same odds, but yeah. Right, like over here you guys saw I got myself 25 sand dollars. That's actually pretty lit. Let's go over here and buy some stuff. What can I get? So you guys can buy additional buddies. Now to non-members, the only buddies which you are able to buy are actually the hamsters, right? You guys are only- Wait, I haven't had this buddy bought yet? Well, as you guys can see, the only buddy which you can buy except for the fox, which you guys get is the brown hamster. So really, being a member allows you guys to buy a lot of these other buddies. Wait, how are these guys not bought yet? Did I like forget this existed? Alright guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys found this informational and if you guys did, give this video a like so more people can find it and I will be catching you all next time guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my prodigy. Bye! Yes.